Fox News host Brian Kilmeade had a panel featuring middle school age children, roughly, and he was very clearly trying to bait them into attacking Joe Biden. The Chiron read failing our children, so I think that he wanted to make folks feel guilty that schools weren't fully reopening yet. And the kids, unfortunately for him, weren't really going along with that narrative. And as a result, Brian Kilmeade snapped at one of the kids and proceeded to try to dunk on him, literally on national television. I repeat, a Fox News host, a grown man, tries to dunk on a sixth grader on a news show. Take a look. How close are you to getting back in the room? What do you miss most about not being in school? Um, I miss most obviously seeing my friends and all the after school activities that I've done. And I think that we're very, very close getting back to school. And I think that um, the way that our new right. president right. is handling things is a very good way. And we would have not have gone to this if it were still the last president. Really? That's uh, hard to believe because the last president was saying, I want every kid back in school. Uh, so uh, Lily, for you, what is your hope knowing the numbers are going down and the governor might be opening up? That was fantastic. Good job, Brian. Good job. Libcuck destroyed. Thoroughly owned. Epic. You know, my only complaint with that clip is that he wasn't aggressive enough because if I were the one interviewing those kids, I would have handled it a little bit differently. Um, so let's let's set the tone a little bit. And we would not have gone to this if it were still the last president. Really, Jason? Are you stupid? Do mommy and daddy feed us paint chips for lunch? Did the DNC pay you to say that, you fucking shill? Fuck you, Jason. You're a fucking loser. You're never going to amount to anything. And don't think that I didn't see you down there, Lily, nodding along in agreement with Jason. Shame on you, children. Fuck you, kids. Of course, I'm just kidding. Jason, if you're seeing this, you're far more intelligent than Brian Kilmeade, uh, even at your young age. Um, and I don't know if his name is Jason. He just kind of looks like a Jason. But I mean, this really goes to show you what happens if you if you go on Fox News and you don't play along with the narrative that they're trying to construct. Even if you're a sixth grader, you could be 10 years old. You know, if you go on and you make some benign statement and you just very tepidly praise Joe Biden, he's going to try to debate you and dunk on you. Although I will say, to be fair, Brian Kilmeade versus a sixth grader, that's that's a pretty equally matched debate when we're when we're talking intellect here. So it wouldn't necessarily be uh, that bad, that far off, because technically Jason um, is correct here. I don't necessarily agree 100 percent with Joe Biden's handling of COVID-19 when it comes to reopening schools. I think that he's pushing a little bit too fast to too hastily reopen. Uh, nonetheless, when it comes to handling COVID-19, he's done a far better job than Donald Trump. I think anyone with a brain can acknowledge that. So on this issue, Jason actually technically destroyed Brian Kilmeade. So good job, Jason. Um, I just love the, the response. Like you can see uh, how indignant he was. Really? That's hard to believe because the last president was saying, I want every kid back in school. Brian, he's a child. You're going to debate a child, Brian. <laughs> You're going to really debate a 12-year-old or a 10-year-old on your program, really? It's almost as if they want people to not take them seriously. But I mean, according to Fox News, they literally argued in court, at least when it comes to Tucker Carlson, to evade a defamation lawsuit, that no reasonable person would take Tucker Carlson seriously. And I think that we can extend that to the rest of their hosts. Fox News is not meant to to be news. It's, it's meant to be entertainment. And a study from the early 2010s actually showed that folks who consume Fox News are less informed than people who consume no news at all. Let me repeat that. You're better off. You're more informed if you just watch no news compared to watching Fox News. So now imagine, uh, you know, the impact that they're having when we have so many boomers, 70, 80 year olds, consuming Fox News religiously, daily. It's essentially their only news source. I mean, think about why this country is so fucked up, why so many people are anti-vax, why so many people deny anthropogenic climate change, why so many people support politicians who are literally fighting against their own self-interest. It's because of Fox News. Propaganda works. Like, you and I might be able to see it 
and decode the hidden pro-capitalist messages on Fox News. But the average consumer of media, they're not going to be able to see that. They're going to be more susceptible to Fox News' brainwashing. So there's not much left. I, I think that I've milked this segment as much as I can. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's where uh, we'll leave it. Fox News has now resorted to dunking on children because I think that's that's the only folks who they feel confident that they can competently debate somewhat. Beta male.